Hey, I wanted to let everybody know something here. I found uh, this is this motor here is out of a treadmill, and it's 2.65 horsepower um, at 21 amps at about 80 volts, um, and this little small DC motor here is a huge generator. Um, I ran some tests on it and it just makes a power like crazy. And I'll show you here. I'm just going to push it with my hand and give you a look at what kind of power we're getting. And that's just pushing it with my hand. So it's making uh, enormous amount of power for its size and because the belt this is a uh, the belt that was on the tread treadmill and if you notice the way this belts designed it's gonna create less friction than, than a standard carb V belt and uh, I've got this pulley work so this is going on the cart motor um, Basically what I had to do is turn this down because it was on a, a larger shaft and I found this plastic gear, turned it down, then glued and press fit it into this so that it would fit the cart motor. So this is the next generator going on the cart motor. Um, the other one worked and it would make easily get up 13, 17 volts. Uh, but I'm hoping this is going to make a lot more amperage because the key here is for the generator to take over uh, for the inverter and drive the the pulse motor and then recapture the energy after it passes through the pulse motor into the batteries so because that's the goal here uh, this generator hopefully will do that for me so I can switch it over to charge and switch the the power coming from here into the cap and this should be enough to drive it. I might have to tweak the trigger resistance but uh, I'm pretty pleased with how the test went with this generator actually motor, DC motor that's going to be used as a generator and this thing outputs DC power. It doesn't output AC power that has to be rectified. It basically, the way it's designed, it's outputting DC motor uh, power which is it if you look at it on scope it's actually being pulsed because the you know it's it's running on a a uh, brush and as it's pulse as the thing is induced the current it's switching to the to the next coil sad so it's out the current's flowing in one direction through it and the same goes with the with the generator that's on it currently uh, it outputs DC power. Uh, so it doesn't really need to be rectified and it can go straight into some big DC caps without being rectified. Now, I don't know if that's a good idea, but currently that's the way it's set up. So, But I want you to see this because if you guys get a chance to pick up a treadmill, uh, you might want to do it. This is a very efficient little motor uh, as to be used as a generator. Now, I'm not saying it's efficient as a motor because at 21 amps and 80 volts, no. But as a generator, kick some ass. So keep your eye out for that. You might find one that's useful to do that. And um, because the belt resistance is so low using this kind of belt this is optimal for this setup so